period of meditation now. So when we're doing this, we try to bring our minds to peace. So using an object of meditation. For example, being aware of the in and out breath. So on the in breath, we can recite but, and on the out breath, do. And we can place our awareness and attention over the breath. Um, on the in breath, that can be at the tip of the nose, and on the out breath, on the uh, upper lip, and the feeling of the air passing those points. So try not to be thinking about the past and the future. I'd rather stay in this present moment. And some practitioners have problems when they try to focus their mindfulness on the breath. And so there's one method that can help with this, and that's counting the breath in pairs. So when we breathe in, we count one, and breathe out, count one. So that's one pair. And we do that with the second pair, the third, the fourth, and then the fifth. Montreux, once we read the, reach the fifth, then we come back and count anew from one. So on the in-breath, count one again, the out-breath, one. It's the first pair, and then the second pair. And then carry on doing that till the fifth, and then we increase it by one through six. And so then we come back to the first pair, and then do that until seven. And so increase the number of pairs until we get to 10 pairs. But if we forget where we're at, then we come back to the first pair and start counting all over again. So there's no need to be concerned about whether our breath is long or short, but just know this counting in pairs and just that. And so that's one method. And this is a method to bring the mind to peace. And we can also use contemplation as well. So contemplation of the in-breath and the out-breath, how the breath arises and then it ceases. And when we recite Buddha, so there's the arising Bud and the ceasing of Do. And so this is watching, arising and ceasing. So both of these methods are for the sake of bringing our minds and keeping them here in this present moment. So if we um, watch the breath in pairs and the mind comes to peace already, then we can bring it to contemplate this arising and ceasing. And so there's the breath coming in, this arising of the breath, it stays for a short while and then it ceases. And this is vipassana, insight, meditation, um, using the breath as an object. So during this time, we should try to cultivate samadhi, so mind which is firm and collected. And if people are skilled in using contemplation to do that, then they should contemplate. So we can contemplate death as well. So be reciting to ourselves that life is unsure, but death is sure. And that death is the culmination of my life. My life must end in death. Life is not sure, but death is sure. And when we do this, then the mind can come to peace. So we cultivate our minds using one of these objects. And there's no need to doubt about them. And all of these are for the sake of bringing our minds to peace. And when they're peaceful already, and then wisdom will come up. And so may you set your hearts on practicing in this way until we reach the appropriate time. <laughs>